welcome to Anna's Crafty Amour. I'm Anna. I'd like to welcome you to my channel if you're new here and I'd like to welcome back my subscribers who come back time and time again. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some knit crate that I received in the last two weeks. This is a knit crate that was um, sent from June and July and when they had a moving sale in August but because I'm here in Australia and with you know recent events that have happened with the the, the COVID and the lockdowns and everything like that um, the postage took quite some time. Pleased to say that I've received everything that I had ordered and um, there's one thing in particular that I haven't opened yet. I've been holding off to, to do this video for you and I'm going to share a um, it's a mystery bag from Knit Crate. So let's get into it. I'm going to have to put my glasses on because um, reading the small print is just near impossible. <laughs> so I'll firstly show you the um, the the sock crate. That's the one that I've been getting. Um, previous to that, I was getting just the standard knit crate, um, but I, because I've been knitting socks a lot lately, um, well, in the last 12 months, um, I have chosen some sock crates. So the very first one that um, I got as a sock crate was June sock crate, and it was this one here. I'm going to show you the book that they sent. This one came with a book. And it was um, Inspirations, Nick Crate Inspirations. And the, the um, theme was called Mirage. And that's the inspiration photo. That's it there. So some beautiful colours there. And for the um, sock crate, these are the yarns that you potentially could have gotten. So this one here is called Every Tree Needs a Friend. This one's called It's Your Own Little World. And this one's called Peapod, which is a very pretty green. And for the knit and crochet, now this is June, remember, for the knit and crochet, they had these colours here, which is the knit and crochet club. This is where you get two skeins of yarn, or two hanks rather, two hanks of yarn, and um, you, you get the little, um, what do they call that? The little extra and um, and either the book or the card where you have to download the uh, patterns so in for June these were the patterns that came it was a knit shawl a crocheted shawl some socks just one more. Right. sorry where were we <laughs> um, delivery service I think they're trying to catch up. <laughs> Today's Sunday and uh, we just got a delivery. So there you go. <laughs> so uh, like I was showing you the um, patterns that came. These are the sock patterns. So that's the knit pattern and that's the crocheted sock pattern. So that's that's the book. The little extra for June was a cork, whoops, put it around the right way, a cork coaster. And it says, sip one, stitch one, repeat from star. <laughs> it's cute. It only came with one, but that's still nice. And the yarn that I got is Peapod. It's a very pretty green. I'm not a big green fan. Uh, I know Madonna Ballard would love this yarn. <laughs> it's her kind of beautiful alien green. <laughs> um, and it is called... Knitology by Knit Crate, Happy Little Sock. And the colour, like I said, is Peapod. And it's 70% uh, Superwash Merino. I'll just read the there. 70% Superwash Merino, 20% 20 Tensile, 10% Nylon. It's a fingering weight, so 400 yards, 365 metres on a 100 gram skein. Um, it is a gentle machine wash lay flat to dry um, but if if it's anything like um, superwash um, super uh, yarn wool uh, I like to do a very gentle cycle on the machine but I put it into like a um, you know those clothing bags that you put 
delicate items in to wash in the machine I put them in there and I don't let it agitate for too long um, but then I always lay it out flat to dry anything that's sock size basically anything bigger than a sock I will hand wash it um, because I'm always scared that it's just going to ruin the item that I've made but um, yeah it's um it's a pretty sort of solid color but in in real life it, it does have a few little hints of some darker and lighter pieces through it it's a bit hard to see there you can sort of see that tinge there a little bit of darker through it very pretty very soft very very soft so that was the June one also now I received all of this in two lots and um, it came over a period of two weeks and like I said it came about two weeks ago thereabouts so this one here is the June uh, sorry July that was June this is July July's theme was called weekend by Nick Crate and I'll just cover this so what you could have got here was this what they call zebra yarn uh, and it came in two colors and that was for the knit and crochet uh, club and th this these three options here well not options but there's three that you potentially could have got through the sock club so there's this one here this um, sort of teal green and then this uh, nice sunflower yellow type color now I haven't downloaded the uh, book uh, well because it gives you a, a QR code I haven't downloaded it, um, but this this was the July one, so I don't know what the patterns look like for that particular month. But the little extra was some um, darning needles, which that always comes in handy. That's a small one and a larger one, so that was the little extra. And the colour that I got, which I can't really um, <laughs> can't really pronounce the name, was this beautiful yellow. I really love it it's really it's a really tonal one you can see here there's some lighter dark shades and it is it is Vidalana um, by Nick Crate Mirage Sock you can see the label there I hope I don't butcher the name it's called Helen Heli yeah Helianthus Helianthus I think that's how you say it you can see that there I think that's clear I hope it is 50% superwash merino 35% bamboo and 15% nylon it's 400 yards which is 365 meters 100 gram skein and again it's a gentle machine wash lay flat to dry now I've never heard of bamboo in socks sock yarn um, but that's the thing with sock yarn or fingering weight yarn. You don't always have to use it for just for socks. Um, I've been using fingering weight yarn to make all matter of things, some things behind me, <laughs> with fingering weight yarn and also with shawls. Um, if you class that yarn there, that's classed as fingering weight yarn, which is a four-ply yarn. It's quite thin. Um, it is beautiful and soft though. It is really, really nice. I really love the colours. Absolutely gorgeous colours. So that's that was July that came. Now, uh, Nick Crate also had a moving sale because what they did was the, um, in August, between August and September, my oh, top's moving, uh, between August and September, they moved their warehouse and I think they moved all of their operations as well. So there was a bit of a transition period between August and September. And they had a 60% um, 60 uh, off sale, moving sale. And so I thought, oh, I'm going to take advantage of that. So what I purchased, oh, it's really beautiful. It actually is... Uh, it was one of these sock yarns that they had for the July crate. And it is this one here. So in the picture here, you can see I received this yellow one. And this one here is Mirage sock. It's that blue there. 
which I was kind of hoping that they would have this. It is a very nice uh, tonal, almost denim, like a new, new to faded denim jean type um, yarn. Really beautiful, really beautiful blue. And I was lucky enough to purchase, because like I said, with the 60% off and being a Knit Crate member, I bought four hanks. Not really knowing what I'm going to do with it, um, but I really like the colour. Uh, I always like pinks and purples. As you can see, there's a lot of pinks and purples around me. But I also love the blues. Really nice. Beautiful. So that's that there. And... Again, this has got the same properties as the one, the yellow that I received. This one's called Sandstorm. Sorry, I forgot to tell you the name. Sandstorm. Gorgeous. Now, get to the fun part. Well, it's all fun, but, you know, the surprise part. So this here, this bag here, is the mystery bag that I bought at that time. Um, I had a look just recently, just the other day, on Knit Crate's website, and they did have some mystery bags, but I think they were larger mystery bags, which this one feels like it's got quite a bit in it. But this one was only, uh, it only cost me $10 or $12 Australian dollars, which was super, super cheap, and I thought, that's fantastic for a mystery bag. Um, that's, again, with the moving sale 60% off back in August. Currently, the mystery bags that they have, I think it's around $39, $40, and that's US dollars. I don't know what the conversion would be in Australian dollars at the moment. But anyway, the, so this is the mystery um, mystery bag. So you can see I haven't opened it yet. Got my scissors. I'm going to open it now, and let's have a look inside. Now, with the mystery yarn um, bags... Uh, I'm pretty sure that um, it had um, that it's not always the luxury yarns that they sell, which I would class these as, the, as their luxury yarns. So it could be um, commercial, commercial type yarns. Ooh. Oh, wow, look. It's in a bag. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted one of these bags. It's called Yarn Squad. How nice is that? It's sort of like a canvassy type material. That's fabulous. And it's drawstring. You can see. I'm going to show you, give you a sneak peek. I hope it's something good in there. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, wow. A mandala cake. I've never had one of these before. Oh, how beautiful is that? That is so nice. This is Lion Brand Mandala or Mandala, Mandala, depending on how you on how you pronounce it. How beautiful. The colour is called Troll. <laughs> like the Troll Dolls. <laughs> how gorgeous. Beautiful purples. It goes into uh, like a blue, green, teal, and then a nice pink. Oh, that is so nice. So this is 150 grams. It's um, 590 yards, which is 540 metres. Um, so 150 grams works out to 5.3 ounces. And I think by what it says here, it's got a number one next to it. So I think that would be maybe the um, the weight of it, a one. Oh, no, no, that's not. Sorry. I think that means one will make a scarf. Yeah, I've got it now. <laughs> so bear with me. This is the first time, and I'm so excited to receive this because this is the first time that I've had a, a mandala cake. <laughs> Oh, I better show you what it, what the uh, stripes come out like. Sorry about the glare. I'm using the natural light. I've got the window in front of me. Actually, I'll turn the camera around and you'll see. Okay, I'll put a picture in of what I'm what I can see out the window. <laughs> oh my goodness! So so that's the colours there. So you've got the um, the blue, the aqua green the lighter green oh, two different pinks purples goes into the darker purples and sort of like an indigo blue that is so nice it's so soft beautiful i really like it oh yeah there you go you can see the two different pinks there okay so that's that one what have we got in here legs oh wow oh that's fabulous 
It's a Bernay Super Value Cake. Oh, not cake. Hank. Skein. Look at that. Oh, there you go. That's the right colour there. How nice is that? This will come in so handy because I think I might be able to, if it's not too thick. Oh, no, it is a bit thicker. But that's okay. We can make something with it. Uh, I've been making um, knitted toys, uh, as you can see behind me. And so maybe, and I needed a brown, so maybe this might might work up as something like that. Okay, so um, I'm just so excited about this. Uh, this is 100% acrylic. Oh, that's what I forgot to say about the mandala cake, which I'm sure everyone knows about mandala cakes. The composition of this is, yes, 100% acrylic as well. Very soft. This is a bit more of a sturdy um, feel to it. It's not as soft as the mandala cake. Um, it'd be more of a, um, what do they call that, like a workhorse type yarn, I think. Uh, but it's still nice. It's got a nice, um, nice, nice feel to it. And it's, yeah, it's like a, um, the c composition of it. It's sort of almost like a twisted chain sort of thing. Anyway, it's a, it's a four weight. Oh, that's what I forgot to say. This is a th three weight. So this is a four weight, 100% acrylic. It's seven ounces. It has 426 yards or 389 meters. That's quite a lot of yarn. Uh, seven ounces, which is 197 grams, almost 200 grams. And the color is called Torp Heather. You can see that it's got that nice heather look to it. Very nice. I really like the browns. Beautiful. So let's have a look what else we've got here. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is Hometown USA. Wow, it is super soft. The color is a bit more brighter in the in the screen there. But the color is called Phoenix Azalea. Very pretty. And uh, this is much thicker yarn too. You can see here. It's much thicker. So that's Hometown USA. Again, it's a Lion brand yarn. Oh, so this is a six super bulky. Hmm. I wonder what I could do with this. Um, it is 64 yards or 59 meters, four ounce, 113 grams. And it is acrylic yarn, 100% acrylic yarn. Hmm. I wonder if you have any ideas of what I could make with this. There's only one skein. I don't use the um, really thick, uh, bulky weight yarns. I've been using a lot of the finer fingering weight yarns of late. Um, but that is still is very, very pretty. And last but not least, oh, wow, I love the colours of this. It's a sugar and cream. Again, I've never used this. A lot of these yarns, the only Lion brand um, yarns that I've used in the past uh, was a baby soft yarn, which that was um, easily available here, but I've never used this. This is a sugar and cream cotton. Ah, oh, so now, now that I have this, I know what everyone's talking about, how it feels. Um, but the colours are very pretty. So you've got like a um, an olive green, a purple, a uh, blue, like a denim blue, and white, and then it goes through all those colours. This one here is called. Oh, okay, it doesn't have, it just has a colour number, I think. Yeah, colour number is 02319. That's Lily Cotton. That's the manufacturer, I think. And it is two ounces, so 57 grams, um, 95 yards or 86 metres. Hmm. Oh, and it's yarn, yarn Spirations. Okay. Oh. Might be able to make some face washes or or some little um, makeup remover pads with this. I think that would be good. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's fantastic. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> so that's I love the bag, and it's purple, my favourite colour. <laughs> so I think that's all I have for. Um... Oh, that's what I was going to show you. Okay, just one moment. Okay, I'm back. 
Now, um, way back in April this year, um, again, this is more Nick Crate yarns. Nick Crate had, um, um, oh, what do they call that? Like a members, members, uh, a sale, members sale on, on various yarns. And I like to buy things when they're on sale because <laughs> you get a lot more. Obviously, you get a lot more for your money. When Nick Crate has a sale, um, because I do really like their yarns, um, I tend to, to try and buy them. So these ones, I'm not sure if I'd shown in a previous episode. I don't think so, but I will show you now. I purchased four of this beautiful, it's showing a lot more red in, in the picture there, in the camera, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's more of a um, purpley colour. I'll see if I can take a photo to show the true colour of it on the camera on the uh, camera that it's showing. Well, maybe if I come closer. No, it's still showing a lot more red than purpley than what it is. Anyway, this one here, it's called, uh, it is a Vitalana Our Make a Life Linen Jewel. And it is Midsummer Rose. There's the colour. That's the colour there. And it is 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, 20% silk. So it has a lovely sheen to it. It feels a little bit stiff, but I've heard that um, linen, once linen has been washed, uh, that's just the, um, the, the string tying it up. Uh, once linen has been washed, it does soften up quite a bit. But you can see that it has a lovely sheen to it. And wonderful, wonderful drape. It's very soft. It doesn't can't hold itself up because it's just so soft and I've got four of them I was lucky enough to get four at a very good price so having bought those um, I did a yarn swap with um, a friend of mine through Instagram and she's over in Western Australia and she has her own uh, channel as well her name is Astrid and it's Wattle and Wool. And her channel name is Astrid per Purdis. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your surname. But I'll put your her links uh, in, in the description below. Hi, Astrid. And I did a, um, a knit crate swap with her. And I'll show you what I... Oh, I'll just pick it up from here. I should have had this ready. <laughs> so I did a knit crate swap with her. And we swapped um, a few hanks of knit crate. And I also had a, a beautiful mohair hank that I um, had in my stash that um, I, I was never going to be using. So I had sent that across to her. Uh, if I have a picture of what I've sent her, I will insert that here. And she had sent me some beautiful yarns that I chose. She had shown me a few that she was willing to swap. And I chose these two here. That, oh, these are coming up pretty true to colour. Look at that sparkle. How gorgeous. We'll go through this one first. Now this one is, again, it's Knit, knit Crate. And it's um, Ordine Wools. And it's actually Christy Glass Knits inspired yarn. And it's called Squad Goals. Beautiful. Beautiful colour. It is 80% Merino Wool, 10% Cashmere. 10% Stellina and it is 250 yards on 100 grams so this would be classed as a possibly a DK weight for 250 yards for 100 grams yeah DK weight it's beautiful so there was two of these one I've already caked up because um, I was going to make um, some clothing you know for those creatures up there <laughs> And the other yarn that I chose was this one here. I really like this green colour. It sort of reminds me of the socks that I had um, knitted for my husband, which I'll put a link somewhere in here or I'll put it at the end of this um, video, uh, a sock video that I had uh, put up recently. Uh, and this this colour is called Tranquility, and again, it's um, Knit Crate Yarn. It's Ordine Wools, and the theme was Calm. I forgot to tell you, the theme here was Twinkle DK. Oh, so, yeah, that's right, DK. And this one here is, again, a DK yarn. It is 
80% wool, 10% silk, and 10% mohair. So you can see, you can see the, the mohair strands here and there. <laughs> and it is 231 yards or 211 meters per 100 grams. So I take it um, being less um, meterage, this would be then slightly thicker DK compared to 250 on this one. But it's very pretty and I like that sort of mild heathered look where it has um, slight um, little specks of different colouring come through. And again, there was two, two skeins of this. Um, again, I, I said I've already caked one up, but I just got two out to show you. Now, also Astrid had shown me that um, she had some other yarn, which she was going to make um, something out of, and she started to cake one of them up, but then decided to go against it. And it is this here. Now, so that's the cake and that's the hank. Um, I ended up purchasing this from her. And um, it is, which I realised that it matches this one. It's the Vitalana Jewel. So it's the same composition as this mid, uh, Midsummer Rose. And this one's called Sandstones. But it's a real delicate pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, it is superwash merino, linen, and silk. It's uh, fingering weight, as the other, um, this one is fingering weight as well. And it is 400 yards, so 365 meters. So because I've got so much of these yarns, um, I think this might be a jumper or a cardigan of sorts. I have a pattern which is called Flax Light, and that's a cardigan. Um, sorry, that's a jumper, so it's a, a sweater, and it has a just delicate pattern down on the sleeves. So maybe that, maybe something else, I'm not sure, but it is really pretty. But that's just something else I wanted to show you, because it is all knit crate yarn. So that's all I have for you today, and I would like to thank you so very, very much for joining me once again. Uh, let me know what you think about the yarn that I've showed you. If you have any um, ideas of what I could make with all my knit crate yarns. I really love them. I, I tend to buy yarn not so much with a project in mind. It's more because I'm attracted to the colour or I'm really interested in the in the composition of that yarn. I'd like to try it. So, And again, I do love a sale if I can. So I'd like to thank you again and don't forget to hit that thumbs button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'd truly appreciate that. I um, have been sitting on five, 650 uh, odd um, subscribers and I really, really, really would like to get to a thousand. Once I hit a thousand, I'm going to have a giveaway. Anyway, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll see how things go. Uh, Thank you again and till the next one, take care, stay safe and have a beautiful day. Thank you.